Hey everyone, it's Susie Lee with Bellalina Boutique. Welcome to Craft Around the Clock. How are you? Happy Wednesday afternoon, and I hope everyone is having a good day. Let me just bring you up in my comments here. I am going to... Um, I almost went live without my computer. My husband brought it up to me. I went out the door and he was standing in the doorway handing it to me. Oh my gosh, scared scared the bejeebers out of me. Anyway, I jumped 10 feet. I, I said, how did you know I didn't have my computer? Because <laughs> nine times out of 10, I forget it. He's got my back. He's got my back. Anyway, how are you all? Come on in. Say hello. I've been running around here for a about a half hour trying to get myself together so y'all didn't get scared. Hey, put on some yip tech, you know. So <laughs> nobody wants to get scared, right? Who's on? Hey, Ruby Moss. Hey, Kieran. How are you? Good afternoon to you all. Um, uh, what's going on? Prayers for everyone. Yes, anyone in the paths of the storms right now? Uh, prayers. My prayers are with you all. Um, Hi, Michelle Bolts. How are you? And all my sweet Bellas. Hey, hey, Sharon. So here's the deal. We're going to be doing um, a quick uh, craft. Hey, Tracy Campbell. How are you, sister? Um, we're going to be doing a quick, quick, quick. It's easy for me to say. <laughs> my tongue got stuck around my eye teeth. I couldn't see what I was saying. Um, so <laughs> this is paper mache. Yes, it is. But when you paint it, voila. <laughs> Through the magic of television. I always love to say that because, you know, I always wanted to say, through the magic of television. Anyway, it's not television, Susie. It's Facebook. It's Facebook. All right, I'm going to put you all up here in the corner. Right along with Baby. Baby's going in the corner and so are y'all. Anyway, I painted it black with Fusion Mineral Paint because what we're going to do first off the bat. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't do? Uh, that's okay. That's okay, we're going to do this right now. I've got my hot glue gun plugged in and all of that. I've got these little, these are called confetti. I got a jillion of them. Well, not a jillion. As you can see, maybe, I don't know how many would be in here. A thousand, I don't know. <laughs> I dropped them one time and they got everywhere. So these are little flat back rounds, gold rounds. Just like this. See? Like that. And I'm going to put them around the base. Just around... Yeah, just around the base of this, just for some interest is what I'm going to do. So um, let me do this. Let me, maybe if I grab a piece of, we're going to make a, a potted bird, bird's nest. A potted bird's nest is what we're going to be making here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the bottom here, and I'm going to get make, I'm going to kind of space them out a little bit. We're going to put these little gold beads all the way around confetti they call them and I don't know what I got them at Hobby Lobby I'm not really sure uh I'm not really sure um what department because I got them in the clearance so um so what you do to one side kind of want to do to the other um so that you can kind of you can kind of see on the bottom where uh one starts where the the first one is that you put on and then you turn it to the other side and you kind of do an adjacent flat round over here on this side, okay? Then you're gonna go halfway around and you're gonna put one here in the halfway point. Really simple, this isn't rocket science, right? We're just gonna, we're gonna zhuzh it up and these are just gonna be little points of interest, kind of almost like a little, um, I'm gonna be putting some molds on this and some flowers, and we're gonna make a little nest, and we got a cute little bird we're gonna put in it. So we're gonna do that, and then half and half again. So the halfway points is what we're doing here. We're doing a little dot here, little dot, little dot there, here dot, there dot, everywhere dot, dot. Just like that. So that they're kind of evenly spaced. They don't have to be perfect, unless you're me. <laughs> then I'm gonna get great, great. I get a little cray cray sometimes when things are not like straight. Maybe I, I think my daughter is rubbing off on me, truly. So a halfway point here between the two, the two little dots. Hey Lucia, hey Joe Ann, or yes, I, that's that's who it is. It's Joanne. 
<laughs> and who else is on here that I haven't seen? Hey, Cheryl. Good to have you ladies today. Um, I'm normally not live on uh, in the afternoon, but I thought, hey, what the heck? I grabbed a spot because I have not been able to grab a spot on Craft Around the Clock. Um, when we go on once a, a month, and or twice a month, and um, we grab our little spots, and I haven't been able to do that. For whatever reason, I've been missing it. So what I do is I keep a little eye and an ear open, and when there's a spot, I grab it. So there's that. Okay, that's it. And they're not going to be gold. They're not going to be gold. No, ma'am, sir. They're not. They're going to be black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, throw this out the window, now that I don't need it anymore. <laughs> um, and I'm going to get in here with a little brush, and I'm just going to get them blackened. With the rest of the pot, we're gonna um, we're gonna crackle finish it and make it kind of a European looking um, sort of a pot with a pretty little bird in it. I think it'll be pretty for spring, summer, all the things. This is fusion mineral paint. I like to use it, as many of you know, because it's a great paint. Good afternoon, Sandra. How are you? Nice to have you this afternoon. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna paint this these little gold. Um, confetti um, with black just like this how many of you got my telegram who are on, who's on my telegram I want to make sure you guys got it today because some people were saying they weren't getting it now yesterday I was glad that nobody got it <laughs> or whoever said they didn't get it I was glad because uh, I put a post out there that was not what I said do you ever have that happen? Do you ever talk text and have send it out and then go, uh-oh, that's not what I said. And it was not good. So anyway, what are we going to do? I deleted that real quick. A few of you saw it, but you know me. I would never say anything like what that said. It was bad. Still talking about it. Still laughing about it. My gosh. I can laugh now, but my goodness. When it happened, I was devastated. <laughs> Oh, mortified. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, from South Carolina, my niece Melissa Hamby is on here, y'all. Say hi to Melissa, everybody. Hi, Sandra. And hi, Lucia. Did I say hi to you, Lucia? Hi, Kathy Funk. We're just going to dry this up. It's not going to be It's not gonna be black. That's why I could wear black, so I'm not really matching my project like everybody accuses me of all the time. I don't plan that. Oh, you know what? I missed a spot. Sorry. I missed a spot. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to dry brush it with some white. Oh, no, man, Mento. Hey, Melba Garza, how are you? So nice to have you ladies this afternoon. What y'all up to? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? It's spring in Michigan. Spring is like, in Michigan is like, ugh. it's um, muddy and and you know wet birds love it birds are loving it okay I'm gonna dry them up real quick and then I'm gonna put on this folk art crackle medium have you ever seen this this is the bomb diggity you will love this you just shake it up and then the next thing you know you're you're getting some crackly goodness on your project. It's beautiful. And I will show you how. No momento. Um, I keep going over these because I keep seeing gold spots poking through. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the crackle medium on and then you got to dry that. And then I'm going to put on the white that's going to go over it. And it, to me it's going to look more like a... Um, kind of farmhouse in the beginning, but as I go, as you see me progress with this, you'll see it kind of look more like a little European old-aged pot. See another little piece of gold poking through. Now cut it out. There we go. Seriously, sunny and 70, tanning as we speak. You know, Nothing like rubbing it in, sister. Nothing like rubbing it in. 
you know, I'm going to be passing by your way in August. I'm going to an event in Florida. So there, there's altogether a possibility that we may see you this summer. Maybe. Altogether. If we, if we can survive the drive, Jim and I. I talked your uncle into it. I'm going to an event in St. Augustine. So, we'll see. We'll see. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Um... Hey, Rose. All right, get me my slap it on brush or one of them. One of my two slap it on brushes that I lovingly call it. I think these things are like at least three years old. And I just use them for slapping it on, you know? That's all you need. You just need sometimes you just need a little slap it on brush. Okay, so I've shaken it up and I'm taking my um, crackle medium. If you're just hopping on, that's folk art crackle medium. You get it at Hobby Lobby, you can get it on Amazon pretty much. You know, anywhere, you can probably get it at Joann's, I'm going to say. Michael's, maybe. I don't know that for sure, but I'm just saying. Pretty much any craft store would carry a crackle medium of sorts. This is the folk art. I like it a lot. I like it a lot because I usually don't have any issues with it. I've used it a lot. And it dries quicker than the fine line crackle. However, as you um, will see, the crackle is much more prominent um, than the fine line. The fine line crackle looks more like, you know, old porcelain, but this is a thick, kind of looks like it's been out in the elements aging and all of that. Hey, sweet Phoebe, how are you? Hey, Batty. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, Phoebe. I'm so glad you made it. Y'all are sweet. You overslept, Betty. Oh, you know what? So what? So good. Good for you. You you needed that. You needed that, girl. Okay, I'm going to just do the top. Now, I'm not doing the bottom, so I'm just going to get in here, put a little bit more on my brush, spread the love around here. And I'm kind of hit, hit it with a lick on the promise because I'm not, I wouldn't be really mad at it, as my friend Mara would say. I won't be mad at it if it doesn't um, crackle everywhere. Hi, Lady T. How are you? You're on lunch. Okay, as long as you're not working, don't get yourself in trouble. <laughs> I'd feel bad. I'd feel real bad if you did that. All right, so there's that. Done, done, did. Gonna dry that up. Hey, newbie, Betty Davis, how are you? Nice to have you. Welcome to my page. I'm Susie, and this is Bella Lena Boutique. Craft around the clock. Craft round the clock. Let's get that straight, Susie. This is my segment of Craft Around the Clock today. It's a 45-minute segment, and I'm representing for my fellow Craft Around the Clock sisters. So we've got one layer on this little pot. We've got one layer of black fusion mineral paint. You can use any kind of acrylic paint or acrylic based paint with this. That's all you need. And it started out like this, okay? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your little pot from the dollar, or that dollar tree, from Hobby Lobby is where I got mine. And you're gonna paint it black and you can embellish it with molds. You can embellish it with, um, um, rub-on transfers, um, decoupage. I'm going to use this one right here, I think. I think this is the one I'm going to use. This little rice paper, I have I have no idea. I save all my little bits and scraps and my rice papers, and I have a little file folder that I keep them for just purposes like this. I also have these that I've been meaning to use. I got these on Amazon. These are um, little, just little rub-on transfers, and I was thinking about using this, but I think because the pot is smallish that I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use this because it's kind of a small pot, and I might even, I might even tear some of the leaves off on the bottom because I'm going to put molds around it to make it look aged and old and all of that, you know. So. 
I put one coat of uh, creamy, creamy white Fusion Mineral paint on these molds that I've made, and I think I might put just a lighter color of white, just dab it in there a little bit so that it's kind of like two-toned and looks a little bit more aged. That's what I'm going to do. Oops. And here's our little bird. We're going to make a little nest inside of here, and our little bird is going to go right inside that nest. He's having a hard time setting up. Kind of like me today. <laughs> um, never phone, not out during work time. Okay, good. Well, that's good. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Oop, stuck my thumb in a wet spot. Of all spots, I had to stick my thumb there. It, this dries a lot quicker than the fine line crackle. Hand in there and get it. And I'm okay. Like I said, I won't be mad if it doesn't crackle everywhere. I just want it to look semi aged. Thank you, Betty Davis. It will be. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I've got some. I got some ideas rolling around up, up in my noggin. As per my usual. <laughs> my husband thinks I have a rod knack. It's just ideas. <laughs> it's just my ideas, Joan. Don't worry. It's just that's all this. <laughs> yes, De uh, Betty, my my Bellas, as I lovingly call them here on my page, are very sweet and welcoming, you will find. They are loving and very sweet, and they will welcome you with open arms. They're a great group of ladies. This community is a wonderful community, as is the Craft Around the Clock community. Okay, so we can put the black away over yonder. I'm going to get this white out a little bit on a paper plate down here. And I think what I'm going to do, yes, indeed, so I'm going to use, oh, I have black all over the, I have black paint on the top of this. I must have used it for the black paint. I got it all over my hand because it wouldn't be any fun crafting if I didn't have it all over myself, would it? That's why I'm wearing black. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Yes, welcome to the family. That's right. We are, we're like a little mini family, aren't we? We are. All right, so this is white casement fusion mineral paint. I keep these in these little honey pots. Are one of my sweet followers, Drusilla, uh, sent to me. I'm not gonna get this open because there's a there's a there's a clog. I need to clean it out here. A little bit of a clog. Grab a tool, any tool, right? And pour some out. <clears throat> Get it on my brush and very lightly I'm gonna go over it. Kind of kind of a little bit of a dry brush, if you will. Um, and you will see what's gonna happen is it's gonna crackle around around the top of the pot, but it's gonna also be skimpy. I don't want it to be a solid white. I want it to look almost just like an old aged piece of pottery that's been sitting out like that. Can you see? That's how it's supposed to look in my head. In my head, that's the way it's supposed to look. So what I'm gonna do, like a little feather. So I'm gonna just go over this, the whole, um, the little confetti that I put at the bottom. And what happens when the crackle starts, which is almost immediate. I hope it's gonna happen. It's very, very light. Yeah, I hope I dried it in between good enough. I think I did. Like I said, I, not, I won't be upset if it's not crackling everywhere because I kind of want it like, um, you know, like a hodgepodge of crackle. Like 
like these little things can crackle all they or be solid as I as they want, but the pot I want it to be. Kind of a mismatch, a mix of crackle and solid and crackly goodness. Not gonna worry about the bottom because you ain't gonna see it. Okay, like that. Oh, that's pretty. Yep, just just like that. Can you see that? And if you look really, really close, you can see some almost looks fine line. If you look close, you can see it. Ah, uh, thank you, Kay Thompson. How are you? All right, so I'm going to just kind of clean off my brush here for the top. And I went inside. I don't know if you'll see much of it, if at all. But I'm just going to kind of clean my brush off with it, even though I didn't crackle it. I'm just going to kind of make it match like that. Okay, we're going to let this dry. I'm just going to set it over here for a minute while I bring forward my molds that I made. My, now my molds, I got a little bird, I've got some flourishes, I've got some leaves. I'm not real sure what I'm going to use. So um, I'm just going to go in and dabble in some of this white amongst amongst the uh, creamy raw silk color that I used. And that was also Fusion Mineral Paint. Just like that, so it covered quickly, um, it, as it usually does. It's a great paint. Okay, and I'm gonna dry it. You're waiting to go into the doctor's room, so you have, you have me on mute. Okay, all right, Barbara. I hope you're okay. I hope you're, not, I hope you're just there for a well check. I hope you're not sick. So much stuff going around. Okay, we're gonna dry this up, and we are going to um, I'm going to, before I put the molds on, I think I'm going to put this little rice paper on it because that way I'll know where to put the molds to frame it out with. I think that's my, I love the crackle look too, Betty. It's like one of my favorite things. Now some people, like my daughter doesn't like it at all, but I love it. My daughter and my granddaughter are not fans. Go figure. I don't think we can be friends anymore, I told them. <laughs> I might love you, but I don't think I can be your friend. For real. Who, who doesn't love crackle, right? They just like to give me a hard time, I think. I think that's what the problem is. Who else is on here today? Sue from Living a Heartful Life. Hey, sweetie, how are you? Um... Hey, Linda Pollard-Baker, how are you? You're from Michigan? What part? I'm from Michigan. I'm from um, southeastern Michigan, Macomb. Okay, just want to make sure it's good and dry because I'm going to add like a little bit of stain in here. Where is my stain? Here it is. <laughs> my followers are going to crack up. I still have some mousse mousse left. I've had this for three and a half years, probably four, because I, I used it before I had a page. So that's how old this is, but it's awesome. This is Valspar Antiquing Glaze. There is like little to no VOC odors. I love it. It's a wonderful product. And um, grab a baby wipe or two. I don't want to need it. Um kitchen is black and white farmhouse. Mine is too. It doesn't have any cows, but um, I have black and white uh, buffalo check, and um, I painted my kitchen table with, um, it's kind of a farmhouse, big wood farmhouse table. I painted it with um, Fusion Mineral Paint, and about four years ago, maybe five, and it's all pretty good. I probably could use a spot check here and there, but I gotta be careful because I burned my finger with my hot glue gun the other day and it's still healing. So I gotta be careful, otherwise I, I'm gonna get it bleeding again. We don't want that. I don't have any band-aids in here. All right, I need another paper towel. I use more paper towels, crazy. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab 
a stencil brush. Because the stencil brush was just cleanly washed and it's just damp, just enough that it's gonna that it's gonna work. I know I backed it right in, Betty. I backed it right in to my hot glue tool, and ah, I, I forgot it was on. You know, stuff happens. All right, I'm hoping that this is dry enough. I think it is. I think these are dry because if not, it turns out muddy, and I don't want that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to. Wax on, wax off, Daniel Sun. This isn't wax, this is glaze. And I love it because of the color that it makes things. It just gives it a pretty, not, not like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not like a brown, but kind of, well, moose, moose. As my, my follower Tree says, when one moose is not enough. I love that. She's hilarious. I'm just gonna go over the high points of this flourish here. I may even have to cut some of this off, some of the flourish. It might be too big for the pot, but we're gonna see. We're gonna get, you know, we'll see when we get there. I love the color of this. Um, now this flourish here is just pretty as you please, just the way it is. I'll hold it up so you guys. Y'all can see. Isn't that pretty? Pretty little flourish. And then we've got this one here. I'm gonna, this is just a garland. Um, it look kind of like stone-esque. I don't know if I'm going to use these leaves. I have no idea, but I'm going to hit them. This little birdie here. I'm going to wipe it back just a little bit. You know, a little bit too much on his tail feathers. Oops. Keeping my eye. Okay, I have till four o'clock, so I don't have a whole lot of time. I got to do the boot scooting boogie here. Okay. Um, it is no fun. I know I'm always, I'll never forget the first time I was live and glued my fingers together. That was a trip. My followers will probably remember that. Some of my, my uh, ones that have been around for a while. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pot and decide where I want the front to be, where there's the most crackly goodness. Um, right about here, I think I'm going to put this little, this little rice paper. I'll just lay it right here so it won't roll around so much. There we go. And what I like to do is I take a little wet brush and I go around and I'm probably going to take some of the, some of the um, stems off the bottom because we don't need all that. I just want it to be just a little portion so that these um, beautiful flourishes We'll fit on the pot around it and frame it out. That's my goal. Okay. This little pot came from Hobby Lobby. If you're just hopping on and you're not sure what I'm doing here, I'm making kind of a little bit of a um, kind of a European looking, old world looking kind of pot that um, you might see maybe sitting out side and the elements okay this is a big one I might have to take some leaves off because I'm not going to be able to fit all of that I just want where's your ice water without the voice it looks like you burned your hand no I didn't no it's probably just my um, skin is um, um, that rash I've been getting treated for um, I'm, I'm down to one prednisone. I got, I got a bug bite back in, uh, September and it has wreaked havoc with me. Uh, that's just kind of, kind of took off like wildfire. And I've been, they got me on this prednisone. Makes me cray cray, but hey, it's a little more crazy amongst us all, right? Um, get in here and see if I can get some of this. This is rice paper, so it rips very easily. It gets in. And I like how it feathers really nicely. That's a lot better. We're getting there. We're getting there. A little bit more of the green off the bottom. I kind of just more want the roses more than anything. <laughs> no, it's just this hand. This is just this is this is my rash better. <laughs> That's it getting better, actually. Um, it's much better than it was. 
from four pills down to one now. We're doing good. We're doing good. All right. Oh, that's so much prettier. Oh, I hope I can do this. I hope I can fit everything where I want it to. I might have to trim some of this little um, flourish up a little because I don't think it's all going to fit. Or it might. It might. I'm going to have to trim some of it up, though right here. Some of these top ones that go up, I'm going to have to trim those. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. And then this one, I mostly want it to go like that. Oh, that's pretty too. I kind of like it going up. Kind of like it going up a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty. And then this one's going to go on the bottom below like that. Okay, I got it. I got a game plan, kids. I do. I got a game plan. Okay, we need Mod Podge. That's what we need. That's next. Next. <gasps> Sticking before I want it stuck. A little bit of Mod Podge, and we're just gonna smear it around to make sure we get this applique or not applique, this rice paper on here really well. If you guys don't mind spreading the love, I would appreciate that very much. Gets us out there and all of that. Okay, right here. How pretty. Tap, tap, tap. Pretty, right? Isn't that pretty already? That's all it takes, kids. That's it. And just a few little elements and you're there. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to dry it just quickly so that the, the Mod Podge doesn't interfere with any of the hot glue I'm going to be putting on here. I'm going to be putting some hot glue and adhering it to the pot. Oh, pretty. Hey, Jackie girl, how are you? What did you make your molds out of? These molds are made out of hot glue. I just made them out of hot glue. They're real simple, real hot. Um, my molds are Prima redesign molds and um, they are very beautiful, deep molds. I will show you the ones I used. For the, um, for the garland, I used this one right here, this little garland right here at the bottom. This is a Prima redesign mold and then for the flourish, I used this one with the um, acanthus leaf, I think it's called, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to take this here, and we're just going to, I'm going to adhere it to the bottom of the pot. Give it a hot glue. Kind of center it a little. Yeah, you just fill them up with hot glue. You wait like not even five minutes till it till it sets up and pop them out. And I I've used it on furniture. I've used it on all kinds of stuff. It's wonderful. It's a great product, actually. And here we go. This is going to be tricky because I want to I want to get blamed. I can always go back in and add some more hot glue around it. Okay, I want to make sure that I put that in the center as well. Can you hear my little morning doves? They're cooing out here in my in my window. They're going coo. <laughs> They're so cute. They come back every year. My little sweet morning doves. They come back with the ducks that my husband chews off. He shoes them away because he doesn't like to clean up their mess. <laughs> this one mommy duck, man, I thought they were going to have an all-out feud one year. She was she was adamant that these eggs were going to get laid in the, these bushes out here. And he's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. He kept chasing her. I go, you're so mean. Let the poor duck be. He goes, I'm not mean. He goes, you want to clean this mess? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't want to clean their duck dudes. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. They ended up at the neighbors. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. I want to clean this mess up. I'm not cleaning this mess up. They are messy. I'll give them that. I'll give them that. They are messy, them ducks. You know. Okay, just kind of do them a little bit at a time, pushing it in to the pot. You can hear them. I love them. When Sue, when I hear them, I I just, I know summer is near, and it just gives me a great feeling. I don't know why, it just does. I just, every year, we've been here for almost 28 years. I love, I love hearing them. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Is that not old world looking? Isn't that pretty? Bing, bang, boom, you got it, right? Okay, what time is it? Oh, I got 10 minutes, y'all. 10 minutes. What the heck can you do in 10 minutes? Well, we're gonna try. Um, and I might, I might, Let's see, do I want to add the little birdie here? I could. I might. I don't know. If I do one here, I gotta do one the other side, I'm thinking. I don't know. I'll decide that off camera. If you see it in my pictures, you'll know I did it. That's what I always tell my followers. If you see it later, you'll know I did that. Um, because I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that. Alright, so the inside. Hold on. I should have brought my paper, and I didn't. I get these on the roll from the Dollar Tree, and I just use them. Usually, I, I cover my desk with them or something like that. But I'm use a lot of them. What we're gonna do? Wad it up, nice and tight. Stick it in the middle. No mess for you if you're across the river. Yeah, our ducks they want to live here. My husband said, mm -mm. "No." Okay, that's pretty good. That that's about right where I want it because I'm going to put a little mess inside here. I've got these little vines that I got either from Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree. I think maybe the Dollar Tree had these, you know, little pit berries. And um, I am going to use them around the inside, but I am also going to use a little bit of moss. I'm going to formulate. Listen to me with these big. I'm going to formulate a nest. With some messy moss because hey you know what it's not crafting it's not messy would you bend on the rim no it is not would you bend this is a hot glue mold that i just made moments ago before i came live it is not but it sure is pretty ain't it it's painted with fusion mineral paint and hit with a little bit of um Valspar glaze. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around so you all can see. I'm going to just pull some of this, a, a mush of this out. Hey, sweet Beth, how are you? I'm good. I'm great. Oh, I'm making a nest, a messy nest here. Okay, we're going to, in less than 10 minutes, in 10 minutes or less, can she do it? Will she do it? Probably not, <laughs> if y'all know me. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right here in the middle of this cute little pot. Hit it with a little bit of hot glue so it'll stay put. You know, I don't want it going anywhere. Where's my little this? I need this. <laughs> keep my fingers. I want to keep my fingerprint. I don't know why. I'm my right hand. My creaky gun, my creaky glue tool, I should say. I shouldn't say the word G-U-N because I'll get myself in trouble. I'm already in enough trouble around here, right? <laughs> After last night, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose followers. That was horrible. Beth, have you ever talked, texted anything that came out the wrong way? <laughs> Sister. I was, I was in trouble. Deep weeds. Okay, so this just looks like a little nest to me, right? How about you all? Then I'm going to take in the center. We're going to add a little green to it because it can't be all Dullsville because, you know, it's spring and summertime. We got we to gotta add a little bit of green to it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of the reindeer moss. 
And we are going to. <laughs> you have it. So. Oh, I was mortified. Mortified. I got to tell you. And we're going to put a little green in the middle here. Like that. For the little birdie to sit in. Here and there. On top of that paper bag stuff that came on a roll from the Dollar Tree. Take a little. How cute is that? These pip berries are green and white. I'll take a few of them off. Just like this. I'm going to use the, the whole roll. Just a little bit of them. We're going to poke it down in and wrap it around. Like that. Oh, there goes my scissors. Good thing I was done with them. At least I think I am. I am now. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, scissors. <laughs> oh, thank you, Teresa. <laughs> yeah, you had to be there, Beth. It was interesting last night. Oh, my word. It's on my Telegram. You know, talk texting before I went live. Don't recommend that. I deleted it right as soon as I saw it, but man, oh man. <laughs> Lucky my followers know I would never say anything like what it said. Like what it said, I said. Oh my gosh. I was in trouble. Okay, just kind of wrapping it around. No rhyme or reason. I like it when it gets all a little bit um, cray cray because it kind of. It resembles what you would see in a bird's nest, you know. They're not, they got all kinds of things sticking out, right? Branches, and that's what this kind of looks like to me. It just looks like a little well-designed bird nest. Have you ever looked at a bird nest up close? They're just amazing. How do they know how to do all that? It's all instinctive, and to me, it's just absolutely amazing. Every time I look at one, my sister has several on her property at her lake house, it's absolutely gorgeous. And, um, you know, that she's had that have fallen out of the trees and stuff like that. She just, she keeps them. And then some of them have re-nested it. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, okay. That's what we got so far. Isn't that cute? That is so sweet. And I only have a couple minutes. And I was going to paint this bird. And I probably will paint it at some point. However, we won't have time to do that today. But here's a little bird I got from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99. I think it was 40% off when I got it in the spring uh, collection. And so what we're going to do is we're going to perch her right up here inside this sweet little nest. And there you have a little, um, I would call it kind of shabby, chic, European farmhouse pot. Um, and I didn't even put any bling on it. My goodness, what's wrong with me? I must be sick today. <laughs> You know, being totally dazzled, Ambassador, I gotta, I gotta have my bling, right? Oh my goodness! So yeah, I will probably go over her little wings, maybe, uh, because she's got a lot of detail. You see all that detail in there? I'll go through um, and dry brush some color into her. She's got some pretty flowers on her little breasts there, and of course, I'm gonna paint some little eyes in there with, um, with a little teeny tiny paintbrush, and we are just gonna perch her in there. She's just in there happy as you can be. She just took right over my pot. I've got another pot that I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it very similar, but I'm going to do it um, up on a candlestick. So these will be a set, like this will be down on the ground and the other one will be up high. So there you have it. All right, guys. Hey, listen, thank you so much for being here today. My time is just about up. And um, um, if you're not following Bella Lena Boutique, please give me a follow. I would love to have you as one of my sweet Bellas. And um, stay, uh, refresh your screen. I believe it's Miss uh, Sheila uh, is up um, next. And uh, that's all I got for you. All right, guys. Here you go. One more look. Have a great day. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye, guys.